It was such a big experience with a lot of talented people, also so many internationals, which was really special to me. Like um, meeting there and creating art together was really beautiful. And also because obviously I already know about the universe of the Hunger Games uh, since I'm a child. So it was super exciting to see like locations, costumes, props. The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is out now in theaters. It's the number one movie in the world. So what was your reaction when you learned that the movie debuted at number one? Oh, I was so happy uh, for everyone, like working so hard on that project. And especially because I think everyone uh, feeling the pressure kind of um, that everyone was awaiting the movie and knowing the universe already. So I'm really happy. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And did you do anything special for opening weekend? Did you go see it in movie, uh, see it in uh, theaters uh, with your friends and everyone else? Um, no, I didn't see it with my friends. I saw it with my friends at the London premiere, which was really great. But I definitely want to watch it again with my family. Yeah. <laughs> How was it going to the London premiere and watching it? It was amazing because I saw it for the first time. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't um, watch it before. So I was actually feeling really nauseous after mm. watching it because it moved me so much. Yeah. And um, it was incredible feeling that after watching it. It's so different from reading it. Yeah. It absolutely is. And in the film, you play Olivia Carden. Um, you know, for those who haven't seen it yet, how would you best describe your character? I think which is, I mean, it is just a small role, but we know yeah. the character from the book, like the novel already. So um, she is um, a member of the Capitol, a student in the academy where Snow, like in Snow's class. And um, I think especially what I took from the book descriptions about Livia is that um, she is kind of, Sassy <laughs> and um, like gives um, comments. Um, it's also like making fun about snow. Yeah, typical absolutely. capital <laughs> girl. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, and uh, you know, the Hunger Games has become such a big franchise, uh, dating back to the original three movies, and then you know that before that on uh, the novels. So. Um, could you talk a little bit about how you landed the role in the film? Um, so I got a tape audition and I just like shot something and I thought, okay, probably no one will even answer. And then I was super surprised when it actually worked and we had a little Zoom call. And yeah, um, I think my um we had a German casting director, Jacqueline mm -hmm. Ritz, and she was the one casting me. Um, this is why I led the role. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's interesting because when I, yesterday I talked to Mackenzie Lansing, and mm -hmm. she, she was talking about when she auditioned, she didn't even know she was auditioning for The Hunger Games because they had like a, I guess, a secret title for it. So did you know you were auditioning for The Hunger Games? No, at um, first not. Yeah. At first, like, I think... When I got the self tape, no, it was under like a code name, but code name, right. um, but in the process, yeah, I knew about it. <laughs> right, right, and you know, what did you enjoy most about filming the Hunger Games about the Sombers and Snakes? Was it the fact that you got to film in Berlin and Poland, or was it just being around a talented cast? Oh, definitely, um, cast and crew were so amazing. It was such a big experience with a lot of talented people, also so many internationals, which was really special to me. Like um, meeting there and creating art together was really beautiful. And also because obviously I already know about the universe of the Hunger Games uh, since I'm a child. So it was super exciting to see like locations, costumes, props, everything, everyone, they like put so much effort and work into um, and actually being in the bubble of what you before just read or or watched uh, about. So that was really special. Yeah. So you're a fan of the books, uh, Hunger Games books when you were growing up? Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, you could say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I totally get it. And you know, obviously the friend, the books have been very popular, and the movies have um, done well. And you know, as I mentioned, that uh, the Hunger Games about a song versus Nace is number one. So uh, the franchises have seen major success. So. Um, you know, when it comes to yourself, if you had to participate in the Hunger Games, do you think you could win? Never. <laughs> I could never, like, harm anyone, I think. And this is why I would probably die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And most people would say that because it's a very ruthless game and you have to be you had to have the survival tactics so yeah it's it's gonna it's very difficult to to survive and even win the hunger games but you know going back to the cast um when you were not filming which cast members did you hang out the most with oh um so in our mentor group and yeah. class i think we all like um grew together um and had that little family on set which was super nice actually i would say um serena axler for example is uh playing juno phillips Phipps, juno Phipps, um mm -hmm. is like one of my closest friends uh nowadays which is super nice also yalani marshna is one of my closest friends but like the whole group um because we were shooting with the mentors like the most um it was super nice to meet so many nice people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know that had to be very enjoyable. And when you talk about the rest of the cast, um, the film includes uh, Viola Davis, Peter Dinklage, Jason Schwartzman, just a talented veteran uh, cast. So did you get a chance to meet um, any of uh, the other actors, uh, even though you yeah. didn't share any scenes with them? Um. Yeah, for example, I think with Hunter, I, uh, we didn't, I didn't shoot any scene, and right. um, I'm such a fan. So, um, when I first saw her, like in the hotel, I was literally just like, "Hi," <laughs> and then I, I, I laughed because I was like, "I don't want to annoy her." <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was still super, super big for me to be like in the same project or. Um, or even have the possibility to meet the people, especially like Rachel and Tom, which I like saw the most, are so um, such nice people, super open, super grounded, which was a nice experience. Yeah, absolutely, that's awesome. And you know, now that the Hunter, Hunger Games is out, um, are you working on any other projects that you can talk about? Um. So the last. I mean, what is coming out, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Any uh, upcoming TV shows or films or anything you're working on like that? Um, the next uh, the next project that will come out is like an art house uh, feature film, which um, yeah. is super important to me, but I think I cannot say the title yet. Of course. But I'm super <laughs> Yeah, awesome. That's going to sound like a lot of fun. And you know, one last question for me before I let you go is as your career continues to grow, what are some of the things you want to accomplish? Do you want to do you want to do you want to produce? Do you want to write? Do you want to direct? What are some of the things you want to do moving forward? Oh, I think I'm interested in everything that has to do with like creative uh, work. Um, I think acting is my biggest passion because I'm like really emotional and sensitive and I find it super beautiful to use your um, emotions and feelings to actually create something. And um, I have the biggest respect for all like the positions like directing, producing, because it is such a different kind of work, which is not like just creative. It is also like... Um, you have to be super organized. You have to have every, it's your responsibility for everything. So I would love to try it one day, but today it is like still a big thing to think about. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. Just enjoy what you have going on right now. Uh, Flora, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Congratulations on the movie. I enjoyed the movie and uh, continue success to you.